what is going on welcome to the channel all right so we are here on george washington memorial parkway doing some fsd in a construction zone with uh, a lot of barriers around me uh, both sides of traffic are kind of on this side of the road looks like they're working on the other side and i want to show you how fsd is handling this right now i actually haven't been on this road for a couple months and haven't realized how much construction they've been doing here and they've pretty much got it down to one lane which i'm sure causes a lot of traffic um, it's not too bad at this moment right now and i want to show you how fsd is handling this severe uh construction divided highway over here and check out the fall foliage in this drive it's going to be some of the most amazing we are having a very cloudy day here in the dmv um, but all in all you can see the colors are really bright from the trees we only got a couple more weeks left and it's going to start falling off completely heading into winter time all right so i want to show you all how it just took the exit um, and it's going to actually merge me right on to 495 which is our capital beltway and uh, notice how fsd is still in control it's doing its thing and uh, I want to see if I can basically get to the bridge. Um, and let's take a little gander at this traffic here. Ooh, interesting situation here. Wow, looks like someone spun out. Oh man, that's a tough one there. Looks like also we got a uh, decent amount of traffic right now. Let's see if we can get over using FSD. Um, one good thing about the turn signal is it will not go unless there is a clear amount of way. And I really like the way it handles some of those turns sometimes. So to show you again here, I'm gonna plug on the indicator and it's already trying to find paths on when it's able to go. And you can just leave your indicator running until it has you know, a clear path, it won't go. And if it hesitates and see that the driver behind me is like not trying to let me in, it won't. Um, and that could save your neck from a lot of trouble because first you can always, you know, glance over at your side. You and you also got the camera that pops up over here. And then you've got like all the cameras that are looking out for you through the Tesla. All right, so here we are. We're on the American Legion Bridge. So officially entering in the state of Maryland and um, really fantastic job with FSD notice how it switched lanes right there in the middle of the bridge it detected that this was a bit moving a bit faster and it decided to go ahead and take it and yeah I'm not mad at that at all and if you take a look at the way it picks up the traffic, it does a really good job about analyzing everything in front of me and pretty much providing like a live feed of, you know, the cars around me and how fast they're going in relation to me and the proper scale on how far they are compared to me. And, you know, it's already making decisions based on what's around me. It's a pretty advanced software and, it, and I like the way that it, it really follows the sets of rules of driving very well doesn't you know go into any gray area it's very black and white um and um tesla does a good job about fine tuning that all right here we go with switching up one more lane notice how clear path it goes and it does a really good job and all in all i feel pretty good about this uh drive handle this entire video uh, no takeovers at all and now you can see it's picking up a little speed here this is what you do when you want to speed up you just hit them with the scroll one time the right scroll wheel and the left scroll wheel is the volume and uh yeah i feel pretty confident you know fsd is doing really good on highway it's doing really good on back roads in the rain it's doing good at dark it's doing good during the day so yeah all in all, uh, definitely two thumbs up on this drive. 
Would you use it in a highway situation? Let me know what you think. Drop a comment below. And this is typically the time where I will try to take over and drive because we've got, you know, not too much traffic ahead. But for the sake of this video, I always like to let FSD go and show you all of its capabilities. Like, here we go with the lane switch again. Um, and always like to try to show you uh, as far as what FSD is capable of and how it handles it in a real life scenario. No, my videos are not like edited or anything. I'm not like cherry picking drives and I just <clears throat> pretty much keep my camera posted for whenever I get the chance to record. I don't record all the time. Uh, a lot of time I'm focused on other things, you know, whether it's to where I'm heading or work related or going to see someone, family, you know, it's like I'm not recording all my drives, but when it comes to FSD, I do use it more, like, more than I don't. Um, statistics on my Tesla app shows that I use it about 60% of my drives. And whenever I find something interesting where, I, where I'm not going to be uh, uh, disturbed with um, music or phone calls, then I try to record and bring to you live um, how FSD is handling itself today. This is uh, November of 2023. <clears throat> We're headed into the holiday season and FSD is getting ready to um, get an upgrade soon to version 12 which should come out around the new year, maybe Christmas time. Um, and that should be offering some um, pretty interesting changes that I don't wanna to comment too much on until it arrives, but uh, for sure, I, you know, stay tuned. Um, as soon as that becomes available, I, I do have one of the early rosters of FSD. I've been in the beta since it was beta, uh, back in 10.2 was when I got my car. Back when I actually got enrolled based on safety score, and I had to kind of wait out and uh, actually get pushed to update. You know, it, it was it was quite a time back when Twitter was called Twitter before it changed over to X, and FSD wasn't even something you could buy. Yeah, and it was a uh, really cool uh, to get into the beta program early. So this is really interesting. I got a, a Tesla car behind me, and this is the first time I'm actually noticing this, that it's got the headlights out. I've never seen a Tesla car with headlights missing, and I'm not sure if you can tell in the video or not, but it's this car here. It's a white Model 3, and the right headlight is out. And I'm really surprised to see that. Looks like they just got their indicator on, so they will be passing me here. I don't know if you can notice it in the video or not, but wow. I wonder how much that's going to cost to replace. Anyways, I want to thank everyone for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. This was definitely a fun one to shoot. Make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more FSD beta videos. Thanks again for watching. Have a great rest of your day.